how did I initially get involved in one long day? It was uh, through Dean, Dean Morrow, uh, who told me that he was looking at this project and I should take a look at it and he wanted to bring some, some people in on it, some of the actors from The Sopranos' Last Supper. Um, so I said, yeah, awesome. Okay, what's it pay? <laughs> you guys, well, we'll discuss that later. <laughs> I thought the story was uh, really interesting. It was uh, kind of unlike anything that I've ever seen before. It was kind of a serious yet comedic type of drama going on there. And uh, I, was I was really interested in the script. That's why I decided to uh, you know, sign on to the project. It's basically about a, a crime family you know, doing their, their everyday things, their collections, just moving on in their, you know, their family life. And uh, you know you got these two, two collectors, two associates really, um, both of whom are not made guys. You know, um, they're uh, they're kind of bumbling idiots, <laughs> actually. And you know they go out to uh, to collect some money that's owed to Tony Rivario, the boss of the family. And of course, you know they fuck it all up. I mean, as usual with everything with them too. Uh, they, <laughs> they can't get anything right. They're always fucking up. And uh, uh, they mess up big time this time. They go after and they go to collect money from the wrong guy because they uh, uh, lose uh, the directions or the, the address of where they're supposed to go and they just kind of guess and think they got it right and they, they totally get it wrong and everything um, after that point uh, just is, uh, is upside down, you know. They don't even know it but they're being hunted by a cyborg <laughs> of a man. Set from the future. <laughs> uh, Rocco is uh, is an interesting character. He's um, he's nothing in the family. I mean, he's always put together with Vinny. You know who he hates. I mean, he can't stand Vinny, um, and and the hatred comes mostly from from jealousy. I mean, he's Tony Rivario's nephew, Vinny. Um, and so he's blood, you know. Rocco was just brought into the family as an associate from hanging around, doing odd jobs as he was growing up, coming into the family. And he's really jealous of Vinny, so he, he pushes him around a lot. Rocco's um, uh, very controlling. Uh, he wants to control the situation um, at all times, and, and usually does. And he's a tough guy, or at least he thinks he is, you know. Um, He's, uh, he's pretty crazy. He's not really afraid of anything, um, including the boss, although he, you know, uh, is very respectful to Tony. Behind his back, not so much. Gruff's an amazing character. Gruff is, geez, he's right out of the comic book, you know. Uh, he's invincible, you know, just somebody that could uh, take a lick and keep on ticking. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it is unreal, you know, um, what he goes through and, and comes back from. Um, but, you know, outside of the character of, of Gruff, the, you know, the person that plays Gruff, you know, Chris could probably actually take that <laughs> and come back. <laughs> Keith Mosier, I mean, he's, um, he's incredibly sexy, first off, you know. Um, and that's, uh, going back to another question you asked, that's really what drew me to the film is when I saw Keith. I was like, wow, that's one hell of a sexy guy. <laughs> but uh, uh, all kidding aside, um, and we've, you know, we used to kid like that on set, which made, you know, shooting so fun and so great. Uh, you know, Keith, uh, just for first time director, I was impressed. I've been on a lot of sets. I've been acting for, for quite a long time. I've seen Spielberg direct, um, you know, among others, and, and been on some pretty big sets. And I was impressed uh, with, uh, with Keith and his directing skills and his thought process and, and everything he had going on. Uh, uh, yeah, Keith is a script Nazi. <laughs> Keith is definitely a script Nazi, which was, you know, tough for me because I come from a background where um, it's, a, it's an improvisational background, improv background, and um, I have a lot of leeway, you know, and freedom, you know, with the script um, most of the time. And I'll tell you, you know, Keith was on me big time, 
you know, with sticking to the script. And I remember one time, it was a very long day, it was a very long shoot, we had a lot to do. And I was going off script, Rob Morocco was going off script too, but not, not as much. And, you know, Keith really got on me, we butted heads a little bit. I don't care if you ever work with me again, he tells me. I said, I'll never work with you in my life, ever. You know. Um, <laughs> um, in uh, one word is, is hilarious. I mean, it's, it's going to be great. I can't wait to see it. Um, it's action-packed. Um, it's, it's funny. It's innovative. It's uh, got a Tarantino touch. It's just... Um, I've, like I said, I've been on a lot of projects and I, I've never seen uh, a movie or had a feel for a movie like One Long Day. It's, uh, it's a great movie. If I had to say one thing about One Long Day, it's a great movie and it's definitely, definitely worth seeing. No one's going to be walking out of the theater on that. The, the classic is the, the few good men uh, scene. Uh, you'll have to participate with me on this one. Ready? I'll try to do my best. You have to play Tom Cruise, which should be very easy for you because you, like you look exactly, well, not so much in the face, but definitely the same body. Definitely. Yeah. You want answers? I want answers. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls. Those walls have to be guarded by Marines with guns. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg, I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. You weep for Santiago and you curse the Marines. You have that luxury. You have the luxury of not knowing what I know. While Santiago's death is tragic, probably save lives. And my appearance, as grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves lives. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't like to talk about at parties, you want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Final word, uh, in conclusion, uh, you know, one long day was, was a lot of fun. Um, many, 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 many double cheeseburgers from uh, <laughs> McDonald's were consumed during the filming of one long day. It was a very small budget and probably half the budget went on double cheeseburgers and four dollars pizzas from like Little Caesars or something. But um, no, it, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the, the cast was amazing, the crew was phenomenal, um, everybody worked their ass off on this thing to, to make it happen, you know, from, you know, Keith and Jason, the DP, uh, from the, the actors to the crew and makeup and the grips and uh, lighting and editing process, I mean, everyone just worked so hard and, and I, I really feel uh, privileged and, and honored and, and uh, blessed to be a part of this uh, 